Hi, this is Dale Buchanan, the host of Puppy Talk Podcast. Before we get started today, I wanted to let you know of my new book, The Complete Puppy Training Manual. It's available on Amazon in four formats Kindle ebook, paperback, hardcover, and audiobook. You can find it on Amazon right now. It's called The Complete Puppy Training Manual, and I will put a link in the show notes of this episode. I'm Dale Buchanan, and this is Puppy Talk, the podcast that offers advice on how to raise a healthy, happy, and obedient puppy. This podcast is sponsored by Top Gun Dog Training. Be sure to subscribe to this podcast now so you don't miss a single episode of Puppy Talk. Welcome to Puppy Talk, episode number 38. I'm your host, Dale Buchanan. And this episode is going to discuss how to choose the right puppy for you. Let's get started. First things we want to do is define a few simple questions. And those are going to be, one, who is the puppy for? Is this going to be for yourself, for your whole family, or for your kids? Because that's something that you need to take into consideration when looking for a new puppy. The next question is, why are you getting a puppy? Are you trying to get a companion for yourself? Do you want the puppy to eventually become a service dog or an emotional support animal or a therapy dog? Or if you're just getting the puppy as a family companion to grow up with your children? The next question is, what activities do you want to do with your puppy? Or do you want to take them outside a lot? Are they going to be an indoor dog? Are they going to be a house dog? This is a very, very important question because all dog breeds are bred for different purposes. Some dogs need to spend more time outside, in the yard, at the dog park, a lot more walks and longer walks, while other dogs are more content and much happier staying mostly indoors. The next question that you want to ask yourself is about yourself. What is your lifestyle? Is your lifestyle very busy? Are you retired? Do you work all day and do you not have a chance to interact and take care of the puppy during the day? Are you going to need to hire a dog walker or take the puppy to daycare during the day? These are important questions to ask yourself. The next question that you want to ask yourself. Are you prepared physically to do the work that is necessary to raise the puppy, play with the puppy, take the puppy for a lot of walks, train the puppy, basic commands such as sit, down, stay, and come? And are you prepared to help the puppy get socialized by taking the puppy to various locations such as the pet store or Home Depot? or to friends' houses, or around other dogs to help them learn to socialize with a variety of people and other dogs. These are very, very important questions to ask yourself before you even consider getting a puppy. Now let me tell you my suggestions. First of all, if you want an outdoor dog, you can't go wrong with a retriever. That would be a Labrador retriever or a Golden Retriever or a hybrid mix of a Labradoodle, which is a Labrador Retriever and a Poodle, or a Golden Doodle, which is a Golden Retriever and a Poodle. Those are very popular, and they're very good dogs. So you want to look into those as an option for a great outdoor dog. They're going to need a lot of exercise and mental stimulation, and they're sporting dogs, so they need to have something to do that's fun for them. If you want an indoor dog, I recommend a poodle or a Maltese. Both are hypoallergenic, and a lot of people get Maltipoos, which is a hybrid between a Maltese and a poodle. They're great lap dogs. They're great indoor dogs. They don't have to go outside very much, but they're still going to need some socialization with other dogs and some socialization with people. This is where doggy daycares and Visits with friends come in handy. So 
A poodle, Maltese, or a Maltipoo is a great indoor dog. I myself, I have a mini Australian Shepherd, and I think they are fantastic dogs. All around, probably one of the best. Mini Aussies or an Australian Shepherd, a full-size Australian Shepherd. And here's why they're such great dogs. One, they're very easy to train. They're very easy to teach the basic foundational commands and even teach advanced skills such as agility. A lot of dogs that are Australian Shepherds and Mini Aussies are agility dogs. Same with Border Collies. They're very similar breeds. Border Collie, Australian Shepherd are very similar and they are very, very good dogs to have. But you have to keep them very active. My dog likes to chew. So if I have her in the house with me, I have a deer antler with her all the time. Or else she's going to be chewing my furniture. Or worse yet, she chews my MacBook Pro computer power cable, which she's done many times while I was in the shower. So you have to understand the breed and what you have to work with there. And again, anything mixed with a poodle is going to be great. I train a dog right now that is a mini Australian Shepherd and a Poodle Hybrid. And that is a great dog. So anything mixed with a Poodle also is going to be hypoallergenic. I myself, I am allergic to dogs. So I have to take allergy medicine. I take five different allergy medicines every day because I didn't want a Poodle mixed dog. I wanted a purebred dog. And I got a mini Australian Shepherd. And I am allergic to her, but it's okay. I deal with it. I learn to deal with it. And this is something else you want to consider when you get a puppy. Do you have allergies? Are you allergic to the puppy? Is this going to affect your health and well-being? So you want a puppy to come into your life to help you relax and not stress out and not be a burden on you. You want to get a dog that's easy to live with, that's really a companion for you that you're going to live with for 12 or to 16 years. This is very, very important to consider when getting a new puppy. So there's a lot of questions to ask yourself. I can't tell you which puppy to get, but if you're looking for a puppy and you're listening to this podcast, these are some things to think about before you even make the decision to get a puppy at all. If you have any questions, you can contact me through my website. It's puppytalkpodcast.com. Have a great day. This is Dale Buchanan, host of Puppy Talk Podcast. I have an announcement of a new book that I just published called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's available on Amazon in Kindle and paperback, soon to be available on audiobook. You can find out all the details of this book using the link in the show notes. It's called Potty Training Your Puppy. It's a comprehensive book with a simple and effective way to help potty train your puppy. And it really works. Check out the link in the show notes.